Dean, a uh, tough one for the fans to take. What do you make of it? Tough one for the team to take. <laughs> All of us collectively, not just for our supporters, for us as a management team, um, our players, our board, everybody. I thought we were outstanding today. We dropped two points. It seems to be similar in the last couple of games where we probably could be scoring a lot more. Um, why, why is it that we're not doing that? We create loads of chances. We play on the front foot. I've been proud of our last three performances, even though we only come out with one point. We should have never got beat at all than we did. Gates head away. We had some unbelievable opportunities to win that game, and today we have had some amazing opportunities to go put the game to bed. Several different opportunities. It just comes down to quality in the final tour. So once we keep creating chances and keep playing at that level, we'll be okay. What did you make of Callum Stead's performance as a number nine today? Yeah, obviously he got his goal. Um, should have had a hat trick, really, if I'm being totally honest with you. Um, and obviously that Hort is in the end, he's a one-on-one -on -one in the 88 minute and he has to score. Um, so look, that is what it is, uh, but listen, steady a run all day. He's honest, he's genuine, he's a good kid and he's still learning the game. Why is it that we tend to lose control a bit in the second half especially? Obviously teams change tactics, they change their tactics, they change from a three to a four. Um, obviously they stop us playing out a little bit more. Um, but look, I still thought we were the better side in the second half. I thought we had the better chances. You know, we had the penalty, Addy had a free header in the box from a long throw. Um, and obviously Steady has the one-on-one. -on -one, and realistically, we just shot ourselves in the foot at the end there. And we've been totally honest with you, the goalkeeper's had a nightmare. Um, you say he's had a nightmare on the ball. He seems relatively comfortable. Does that help how we play out from the back? I think that was his one and only error. Yeah, it definitely helps, obviously, the way we play. That's why we brought him in. But he's just got himself a no-man's land there. And really, Tomo has the, the situation under control. Um, and then obviously he's just got himself in a horrible position and, he, and he's not made the save that he's need to make which is it's just a really really poor goal it's the one and only error we made in the whole game and we've been punished for it what I would say is at half time I watched uh, a barbie over the line two yards over the line I want the officials to get their jobs right I don't know where they get nine minutes from look it is what it is that's their job but when I'm seeing an official on this side Jack Cook clears the ball up over the line it's the clearest goal you've ever seen in your life from Jordan Maguire Drew. It's just criminal. That makes it 2-0. They make huge, huge moments in games. And we felt like we haven't been on the right end of refereeing decisions. Nine minutes like madness. Last week, I think we had five minutes added on. There was stop-start all day. It was in Gateshead. And today, he just finds nine, mon nine minutes. We only had two subs. Uh, they had three subs. And one of the subs were made when, we, when there was an injury. So, look, it is what it is. We should have won the game. I'm not going to blame the officials. What we'll blame the officials for is the linesman on this side here, or whatever you want to call them, assistant referees, whatever they are now. I don't want to dis discriminate against anybody. He's got to get that right. That is miles over the line. And that is a really, really poor decision, which has obviously helped towards today. Um, but I'm proud of my team's performance today, proud of our supporters. Um, we showed a lot of class today. And uh, I thought we were by far the better team. First game and first start for Adam Thompson there, what do you make of his performance? Yeah, excellent. Read the game really well, experienced, classy player. Player I've been trying to get to the football club for months now, so delighted to get him in and hopefully he'll stay fit and, and uh, get a good run of games under us. He's going to be a huge player for us. And then lastly, how, what can you change going forward to the next game? Just move on to the next game. Just you know, dust ourselves down, stick together, keep pulling together. 15 more league games to go. We move on to Welling now in the trophy in the last 16. Treat them like we treat any other team. Good to see Rod Stringer back in the game and our, our football pal of mine. So I'm delighted he's back in at Welling. So let's move on to the next game. You know, we're not going to to get better. I'm going to keep playing the way we play. Create loads of chances. You know, that's how we play football. And uh, we, we ain't going to stop that for nobody. So all in all, I'm proud of our performance. I don't think the, I don't think the performances are lacking. I just think in both boxes, obviously, we haven't got exactly the way we want it to be. Our performances deserve us to, uh, to win way more football games than what we've done in, the previ in previous weeks. So this is what happens in football. Dean, thanks for your time. Cheers.